What in the actual fuck, Eliza? So it's come to my attention through the people on my Discord server uh, that Eliza's been kind of kind of wowing out on Twitter. And obviously last season when when Shan wanted to get a little feisty on Twitter, I, of course, had to shut Shan down. It's not the fact that you're a pastor. It's not the fact that you're black. It's not the fact that you're a woman. And it's definitely not all of the above. It's the fact that you put up polls like this. It, it, it makes people think that you're acting like a victim and that you're trying to be a victim. Being a victim is coming from a place of power because when you're a victim, you're the underdog. Everyone likes an underdog. But when you constantly identify with that, you lose that power and it now becomes a much less genuine way of going about your life. And I think it's time that I do the same thing with Eliza. Obviously, Eliza's already irrelevant because she's not playing the game right now. But apparently, she's tried to push her agenda uh, so hard as to literally try and run for the district attorney of New York. She got seventh place out of the primaries. You know, obviously, very, very close to getting in. Um, she got the, the Twitter vote. She, she got the crazy people on Twitter uh, who identify with the way she thinks, I guess. Uh, and she got that vote, which was, I believe, 7.4% or 4.7%, uh, which shows how unagreeable she is on her politics. And for that reason, I think it's time to go through her Twitter, just like I did Shan last season, and just really look at what is so unagreeable about, about Eliza. But before we start, make sure to join our Discord server if you have any good video ideas, if you want to ask me any questions, if you want to talk to people who actually have brains, or at least most of them do. There's obviously some crazies but then again if you want a good debate go there subscribe like do all that good stuff the, the little bell next to the sub button is even more important than the, the sub button itself and if that's it let's get into it let's do it okay so for this tweet she is referencing the past episode of survivor 42 so if you haven't watched 42 or you're planning on doing it in the future and you are not spoiled already on the i believe it's episode four five one of those episodes there's a fight between jonathan and marianne for reference jonathan is a six four 250 pound large white dude and marianne is a five two poc i guess is the best way to say it i don't i don't want to assume her race because i to be honest i really don't know or care but basically what happens is marianne is speaking a lot in camp she's talking a lot she's blabbing on she's a self-admitted blabber so she goes on and on and on and on about the most useless things about food about pop culture re references while they're in the, the shelter and it's raining and jonathan calls her annoying it's very clear that this, yeah, she is annoying that this isn't anything super controversial but eliza thinks that this is somehow offensive i i your your guess is as good as mine i have no idea how in the world uh, eliza sees this as anything more than a reality tv fight that's it but somehow eliza finds a way to bring misogyny into this saying that calling people annoying especially what when it's about someone who speaks is misogyny period and i don't mean to be the grammar police but she puts a period and then says the word period and then puts a period after that thinking that that's going to add more of a semblance to her argument just so 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 confusing i think the bigger confusing thing is the argument she's making i what is she saying is she saying that when you judge somebody you're being misogynistic can a man not judge a woman or is it that he's doing it on national tv is he is it because she's talking because she, she does clarify that a big part of it is that what when she's talking he's saying that's annoying how is it not annoying she's talking relentlessly in the shelter about all types of things that are not related to the game. I'm, I'm very confused. It's almost like she's sacrificing Jonathan's uh, opinions and feelings in order to save Marianne's feelings. And by the way, this was all said in confessional. None of this was said face to face. Later on, they, they do fight, but he he never calls her annoying to her face. And so the, the, the idea that this would be in some way hateful, because that's what misogyny is. It's, it's supposed to be hateful things. The idea that this would be hateful in any way, it's honestly laughable. And the next one that we have, uh, <laughs> this is the worst one. Honestly, if, if you were only looking to watch one of these, this is it. Uh, so someone named Martha says, it's simple. Whenever th there's a storyline about people being annoying on Survivor, I'm going to be on the annoying people's side. Unless the, the uh, annoying people are ugly Republicans or men. No laughing emoji, no ha 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 at the end, no lol, no lamau. Dead serious, dead straight, and the same goes for Eliza. Imagine if this was put back the other way around. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this a, a different way, and you tell me if, if this is okay to say. It's simple. Whenever the, there's a storyline about people being annoying on Survivor, I'm going to, to be on the uh, annoying people's side, unless the uh, annoying people are ugly, Democrats, or women. 
YouTube would demonetize my my channel so quickly. I mean, they, they would they would ask for their money back. That, that's how bad that would be. But when it's the other way around, not only is there no backlash, but in, in this comment section under this, there's people who genuinely actually think this is okay. Like like people who genuinely live life with this mindset, and it's scary. It's literally scary. Like for example, there's this guy with the laughing emojis. But my personal favorite one is this one, where a girl claims that she can quote spot a republican from a mile away i don't know what kind of eyes she has um because that, that i mean that's that's very very impressive um jokes aside that, that what that makes no sense you can't spot anybody people look different and, ha and have different beliefs than you and i think that this comes from a root of you know people thinking that well if, if you look a certain way if you're in a certain demographic then you can't be this or you can't be that i've had people tell me that i have to think certain things because i'm a, a poc like it's just it's the exact opposite of equality. It's the exact opposite of inclusion. And what did help me get my, my sanity back was that this person in the comments saying, well, that's very, very you know inclusive of you because it really it's very contradicting of her own mindset to be quote unquote inclusive to all. And that's really the big issue with Eliza. I feel like she's all talk, no game. I mean, first of all, she lost the election by a very large margin for a reason because her opinions are hilariously stupid. Um, but I feel like she would be the type to tell me, a person of color, that my opinion isn't valid if I didn't disagree with her, even though to her, she's supposed to be, quote unquote, upli uplifting black voices. It's stupid. It's just it's stupid stuff. And it, it really it isn't she's not preaching for real equality. She's preaching for the validation of, of her own ideals. She doesn't want everybody's voice to, to, you know, to matter. It's only her voice that she she wants to, to project and I, I think it's very hypocritical especially someone who claims to be someone who's fighting for the people and it, you know is very angered by in, injustices but she's committing them herself i mean she's saying things that are overtly sexist and yet she wants to call other people sexist including jonathan someone who's on a re reality tv show and had a fight and called somebody annoying in a private confessional it's just stupid stupid stuff I, I won't say it's as bad as shan at least shan was like outward and open while still keeping it a little reeled back eliza is just out she really does not care about facts and while i was researching for this video i actually found ozzy's twitter and ozzy is 10 times worse than eliza if you think eliza is bad ozzy is terrible so first he has like an OnlyFans, which is i mean look it up if, if you don't know what it is uh, and on top of that, he seems to have a deep hatred for anyone who did disagrees with him, calling them ugly uh, and calling them evil, saying very, very mean things. And so if you want me to, to, to do this with Ozzy, let's get this video to uh, 100 likes. And if that's the case, then I'll go in on Ozzy. So, yeah, we'll have to see. Thank you guys so much for continuously watching, clicking, do, doing all that good stuff. And if that's what I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.